Okay, this is Mistress Yoda coming at you. We're going to talk about something a lot of new players don't know. Do you see this little space over here where all your troops are lined up and you see your banners glowing right here? Um, this is a feature that a lot of new players overlook or don't know about. So if you've been training, 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 training troops and you're like, man, I don't know how many troops I have. How many troops do I have in my keep? You click your little banner right here, this 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 one that's glowing, um, and it will show you um, the number of troops in your city. See, in this little tiny um, keep I have here, there's 48,807 total troops, a combined troop power of 261,702. It shows you a breakdown of how many infantry troops and what level infantry troops you have. So just infantry is 86,000 power with the T4, T5 troops that are in there. In my ranged, I've got, um, you know, 59,000, 59 power of ranged. And you can see how many of each tier troop is in there. Cavalry, siege. I have zero traps. I don't train traps. Traps are worthless. The only time you ever want to train them is maybe to complete your daily, um, your daily events a little daily tab at the bottom we'll talk about that later or um, maybe if you're pushing hard in a troop training event you'll train some traps to get some points other than that your traps are really useless don't waste your resources on them as a newbie they do nothing for you uh, other players will come in and just you know kill all your traps um so <laughs> don't even worry and it tells you your estimated upkeep um if i have a march out um, it'll show that up there. So look, just to show you, let's go outside um, of my little keep and I'm going to send, um, you know, a march. Oh, that one's probably too short. Um, you know, we'll wound some troops so I can show you what happens. So I'll just go after this boar. We're going to march them. Okay. Um, we'll go back in here and when we click the flag, it'll show you that I have a troop march returning home. There it is. And it doesn't look like we wounded any troops hitting that level five. So let's go back out here. Let's keep my dragon out of it. Let's wound some troops, shall we? Let's hit this level 16 creature here. Um, uh, all right. It won't let me. Let's hit the 10. So I need 66,601. This is just a little alt. I haven't sent it out at many things. Okay. Um, and let's attack them. Let's take the dragon out so my troops get the owies, right? Um, and, and let's be real mean to my troops, okay? Um, let's take it down. <laughs> Where I'm just going to send out under power for the creature because I do want to wound some troops because I want to show you what happens. Um, so let's march them. And let's go back. He was defeated. Okay, <laughs> now you see he's returning home. Um, and then if you go here, I wounded 111 troops and it'll show you troops wounded. <laughs> so that's the basic of what that does. Um, you can even, you know, click that to prompt the healing of your troops from there. And then you can click the flag and you can see that it shows that it's healing troops with a countdown timer. Um, so yeah. And then if we go out here and, um, I send some troops to gather right here, let's, let's send some in. And then we go back and we look at our flag It'll show you that there's a gathering march that has some of my troops out there. And you'll notice, you know, the total number of troops is now less in the city. Um, and then you can click the little icon there. Um, and it'll show you, kind of bring you to the area where your troops are. All right. So that's what this little area, the gathering area and the little flag do. All right, I hope the video helped you out. This is Mistress Yoda signing out, and uh, may the force be with you.